Hello everyone, I'm Zhang Kun, a graduate student from College of Computer Science, Nankai University, Tianjin, China. I'm honored to have the chance to share our paper on this special occasion. The topic of my paper is WeMap, Mechanism Enhancement Mapping for 3D Reconstruction with Sparse Image Questions. Well, let's move on to the first part of the topic. The motivation of this work like this, 3D scenario reconstruction is gradually being used in fields, and to its low cost and fewer restrictions on application scenarios. The molecular camera-based method has been the most widely used method for 3D reconstruction, which only requires RGB images without any deep information. The basic steps for 3D reconstruction include feature extraction, feature matching, camera pose estimation, sparse point cloud reconstruction, and point cloud densification. Previous research focused on the development of each step, assuming that the dense image sequence can be easily captured by mobile devices for 3D reconstruction. Among open source molecular 3D reconstruction methods, CoreMap is the most popular method currently available with the highest accuracy on density image sequences. However, because of real-time monitoring requirements and the site safety considerations, mobile devices are not allowed in some scenarios, such as smart factories. Obviously, conducting 3D reconstruction from dense image sequences requires numerous fixed cameras which is difficult to implement in practice owing to the high setup and the maintenance costs of these devices. Therefore, conducting 3D reconstruction with sparse image sequences is important to reduce the number of used devices and thus lower the cost of image acquisition. And so in figure 1D, when we apply CoMap on the sparse image sequences, the result is not satisfactory. Some and some structural information is lost to implement the 3D reconstruction using sparse image sequences. We propose the VMAP and show in Figure 1e. VMAP generates a more complete structure compared to CoreMap. Let's take a look at the overall method and show in Figure 2. VMAP reconstructs 3D scenarios from sparse image sequences. The above part is the initial reconstruction based on core map. We map the 3D points in the initial point cloud generated by the sparse reconstruction to the feature points of the corresponding 2D images. The, the number of feature points in an image corresponding to the points in the initial point cloud is counted and used to measure the contribution of the image. Images with fewer feature points correspond to the weak regions in the initial point cloud. Therefore, they are regarded as low contribution and should be added to the enhanced set. Moreover, a point cloud is generated by the feature matching between images instead of feature points in a single image. Therefore, we should add an image pair to the enhanced set rather than a single image as a result. As a result, according to the feature matching information from the initial reconstruction, we add both the low contribution images and the strongest matched images to the enhanced set. Finally, we increase the image weights in the enhanced set to repel the weak regions in the initial point cloud and obtain a more complete point cloud structure. The main idea is that the contribution of each image to the point cloud is different. Some image pairs with weak feature matching contribute less to the point cloud, which generates sparse region in the point cloud. For example, in feature 3, 
The center image of all connections on the right side contains more feature points and correspond to the 3D point cloud marked as purple points. Then that present on the left side. Therefore, the center image on the right side contributes more compared to the one on the left side. In order to quantify the contribution of different images, we proposed a contribution metric function for the initial reconstruction for all images in this equation. First, set I is the input 2D images of molecular-based 3D reconstruction. The F is feature set of the input images extracted using the shift axiom. The initial sparse point cloud set is denoted P initial. We represent the mapping from the 2D feature point set F to 3D point cloud set P initial as F map. When 2D feature point corresponds to a unique 3D point, whereas the 3D points correspond to multiple 2D feature points. To determine the contribute of each image, we need a backward mapping from points in the 3D point cloud P initial to feature point in the input 2D images. That is this equation. For each input image I, we denote the feature point set generated by backward mapping from the 3D point cloud as FI map. Conversely, if an image contains few future points mapped from the P initial, the contribute of the image is lower, which more likely corresponds to weak regions in P initial. Based on above analysis, we propose a contribute metric function for the initial reconstruction for all images in I. In order to verify the effectiveness of VMAP, extensive experiments I conducted. Figure 4 shows the comparative results on sparse DTU dataset. To simulate a sparse image sequence, we subtract approximately one-third of the images from each scenario generating a sparse value of the DTU. For each scan, the point cloud reconstructed by core map on the original dense image sequences, then by core mapped on the sparse image sequences, and then by VMAP on the same sparse image sequences, I displayed from left to right. It can be observed from the regions in in the green boarding bo boxes, and there are many missing details in the results, like this. Whereas our remap can preserve their detail details, like this. Table 1 reports the evaluation results on the sparse detail datasets. Here, core map denotes the mean distance between the reference generated on the original dense data and the point cloud generated by core map on the sparse data. We map denotes the mean distance between the reference generated by core map on the dense data and the point cloud generated by we map on the sparse data. Our results were calculated using quadric model. The mean distance and the standard deviation are averaged on the 22 scans. The average values are listed in Table 2. For numerical evaluation, a smaller mean distance indicates that the point cloud is more similar to the reference, and a smaller standard deviation indicates that the results are more stable. From the results reported in Table 1, we can observe that VMAP achieves a smaller mean distance compared to core map in most scans. The average results listed in Table 2 show that VMAP performs better than core map overall. Note that scan 30, scan 15, and scan 62, the mean distance for VMAP is larger than than for core map. 
To analyze the reasons behind these results, we use heat maps to visualize the distance between two points and the same location from the point cloud and the reference. As shown in Figure 5, the local of each point in the heat map represents the distance between two points. Where blue and red indicate the smallest and the largest distance, respectively. By exploring the heat maps, we can infer the following two underlying reasons. The first one is the structure loss in the reference, as shown in Figure 5b. The reference reconstructed from the dense state loses some stru structures in the region marked by the green bounding box. For the point cloud reconstructed by core map and V map in 5C and 5D, both successfully recover some points in the region. And V map contains more points than core map which causes a larger distance between the point cloud reconstructed by VMAP and the reference. And the second reason is the influence of lowest points, as marked by the red bounding boxes. In the heat maps in Figure 6, the point clouds reconstructed by VMAP have more complete structures than those reconstructed by core map on both scan 62 and 23. However, there are more noise points in the point clause reconstructed by VMAP, which result in a larger distance from the reference. One of our future studies will be aimed at fluttering these noise points for better reconstructed results. To demonstrate that VMAP performance will in larger scenarios as well, we conducted experiments on the sparse tanks and temp dataset and contents it scans. Compared to the DTU, the tanks and temples dataset contain larger outdoor scenarios, which are more suitable for practical applications. We also subtract approximately one third of the images from each scenario, generating a sparse version of the tanks and temple stars. From Figure 7, it can be observed that the VMAP reconstructs more com complete structures than those of core map, and showing the region marked by green bounding boxes. Moreover, as shown in Table 3, Similar to the results on the sparse detail datasets, the mean distance and the standard deviation of VMAP are smaller than those of core map in most scans. The average results demonstrate that VMAP performs much better than core map overall on the sparse, sparse stack tanks and temple dataset. Our future study will be aimed at flattering these noise points for better reconstruction results as above mentioned. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.